Excellent. All right, on today's how-to video, you guys requested a double flat seven or kangaroo flip, double flat nine and two. So seven and nine. So basically it's a double flat spin 720 or double flat spin 900, which is just the 180 on the end. All right, so this is what a double flat seven looks like, fully done, and then I'll do double flat nine, and then we'll move into how it, all the mechanics works. So double flat seven and double flat nine are basically the same thing with the 180 on the end. Double flat seven, we'll stick to that for now, is really just two flat threes in the air together. I know that sounds a little confusing, but it's uh, it's pretty simple. It's not different like a double cork set. When it comes to double flat nine, it's a flat three to a rodeo five or a flat five. So in the second flip on the double flat nine, you're adding that extra 180 and going to uh, five on the second flip. So basically there's a couple ways you can uh, practice for this. I would personally suggest a two-piece progression. The three-piece progression on this one doesn't really work very well. As you can see right here, it looks like this. I would say you can do that a couple times. It's not the most practical. Realistically, you gotta do the double set, which looks like this. And that's the best way of practicing for it. If you don't know how to do a flat three or flat five properly already, you really should figure that out first. For a flat three or flat five, you need to get your hips up like this, feet are coming to that corner here, eyes and body going around, and then back down to here, stacked like this. And then for the double set, you do the same thing, up, nice set, around, land, and then instead of putting your feet down, you just go to your back and then you pull over for the dub set. Cody's getting eaten alive. <laughs> if you need help learning how to do a flat three properly or flat five, uh, there's tons of videos out there. I put one up too, so you can click on that as well and learn the proper set, get those dialed in before you try any dubs of any sort. Pretty much a rule for any dub, get the singles lined up, get them figured out and then go to the dub. Um, for the practice for it, you can go over a little bit on the double progression set, which is this. It's one of those tricks where there's not a really good progression to like land it right away. You kind of have to just send it. But if you can do the progression really well, where you're setting up like this, coming around, coming around for the second set, you're spotting in your second one, looking out when you land in your back, and then pulling around with your eyes up, you should be good. So I would say really put the miles in on the double flat set and make sure it has it like this. I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna put it in slow-mo so you guys can see where my eyes are the whole time and where my body is. And then really dial that in and then you can go for uh, I guess you can go for it. So I hope you guys can actually see that. If you can't, go back again, rewatch it. But my eyes are coming up like this on the first one. Then when I come around where I would land, I start spotting up again, like I'm gonna do a second flip and then take it to my back. And then when I land on my back, I look up and around and pull over. Um, basically that's the best way you can practice for a double flat. It's really an easy trick to get around. If you wanna send it, make sure you have that proper set and just boom, reef it, reef it around. Add all the horsepower you can, just let it buck. But um, I would suggest first one, Maybe grab under your leg. A lot of people find it speeds them up a lot. And yeah, you can literally, watch this. You can literally do a set like standing here with one bounce. Very easy and it's probably the fastest double you can get around to feet, no problem. First one, I would suggest using a mat if you have one because with a double flat, you can land one foot heavy or one foot heavier than the other or on the side easily. It's easy to travel and you don't want to mess your knees up or ankles up or anything like that. When you're not comfortable to stop, you get to feet like this. And then with the dub flat nine, it's the same thing. You come up, do the double set like this. And then pull around at the end like I just did there. Make sure you're looking out for skiing because you're gonna be landing over your shoulder. Uh, first couple ones, just let, make sure you land it. But then once you get dialed in, make sure you land looking over your shoulder. That'll help a lot. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs>
All right, I'll quickly show you guys how the tricks are done again, and then uh, I'll leave you to it. You can try it out yourself. Let me know how it goes. All right, if you guys like this video, please hit that, I guess smash that like button because that's what people say. But like it and uh, share it with somebody else who needs help. Subscribe, it really helps me out and I would really appreciate it. Hope these tutorials help you guys and leave some trick requests in the comments down below and I'll try to do them. All the best, hope you guys get the tricks and dial them in. Let me know how it goes, peace.